In this video, I will go over three methods of using Ruby and Peloton together using our product FitSwitch. The three methods are displaying Ruby on a mobile device, displaying Ruby on desktop, and finally, displaying Ruby on the Peloton tablet itself. Method one, display Ruby on a mobile device. To start, download Ruby and make an account if you don't already have one. Once you're loaded in, click Add Trainer and click on Fit Switch to Pair. You can pedal some to ensure the figures for power and cadence change appropriately. Now click Cadence and Pair to Fit Switch. Click Save and Close, and now you can navigate to a ride. Once you've selected a ride and loaded it into it, you will find that your pedaling is reflected by your character on screen. Automatic resistance control is not yet available. When it is added, this feature will only be for the Bike Plus. Regular bike users will have to continue adjusting resistance manually. Method 2. Display Ruby on Desktop. Begin by installing Ruby on your desktop. If your desktop doesn't have Bluetooth capabilities, then this method will not work for you. Once it's installed, launch it and log in or create an account. Then, once you're at this screen, click Skip and Select Manually. Click Add Trainer and wait for FitSwitch to appear. Then click on FitSwitch to pair. You can pedal some to ensure the metrics for power and cadence change accordingly. Then do the same to pair fit switch to cadence if it hasn't already automatically connected. Now you can click save and close and navigate to a ride. Once you've selected a ride and loaded into it, you will find that your pedaling is reflected by your character on screen. Automatic resistance control is not yet available. When it is added, this feature will only be for the Bike Plus. Regular bike users will have to continue adjusting resistance manually. Method 3. Display Ruby on the Peloton Tablet. To use the app on the Peloton Tablet, you first will need to download our app FitSwitch Bridge. Once it's installed and running, open the FitSwitch app on the Peloton Tablet. Now FitSwitch should appear for pairing in the Bridge app. Pair to FitSwitch and now you're ready to pair the Bridge to the Peloton. Click the button on your FitSwitch to return to FitSwitch Home. Then find Ruby in the app library and click it and then click download. You may be asked to give FitSwitch permission to download unknown apps. If so, allow that permission. Now that it's loaded, click skip and select manually. Then press add trainer and wait for FitSwitch Bridge to appear. If nothing shows up, press display all and it should appear in the list. You can pedal some to ensure the metrics for power and cadence change accordingly. Once you've paired the trainer, do the same for cadence to pair to fit switch. Then click save and close and you can now navigate to a ride Once you've selected a ride and loaded into it, you will find that your pedaling is reflected by your character on screen. Automatic resistance control is not yet available. When it is added, this feature will only be for the Bike Plus. Regular bike users will have to continue adjusting resistance manually.